As I said earlier, constitution is nothing but the set of rules and regulations of the country and it is the supreme law of the land and it tells about the fundamental nature of the society. See, we are actually a secular country, right? What do you mean by a secular? In our constitution, secular is actually there in our preamble. Preamble is nothing but the first page of the constitution. So, secular means where we accept all the religions. But in many other constitutions, like if you take constitution of Pakistan, a secular word cannot, cannot be adopted there because they accept only Muslim religion into their constitution. But we are so open-minded that we accept all the religions as our um, as uh, as uh, uh, all the peoples of other religions as our citizens okay and it does not include the type of the government means it it will not tell you that your uh, your government has to be republic or uh, your government has to be like um Many, many, other st many other types of governments are there. It should be monarchical or anything like that. But it upholds the ideas believed that the country should have. It upholds the ideas that the belief that the country should have. Like how we have upheld, we are secular country, sovereign country and democratic and republic country. The same way even uh, the ideas are being, uh, uh, has been included in the constitution. It should define the political system of the country. See, political system, when it comes to a political system, where it is written as we should, we need an MLA for a particular constitution. Where do you think it is written it is written in the constitution mla mps and ministers and president and it tells about the political structure of a country you will read it in the further classes my dear students so let us learn about the nepal's constitution so nepal was a monarchy till 2006 even though it had a constitution which was adopted in 1990, in spite of adopting a constitution, the king had a final authority. So therefore, what happened? The peoples were not happy with the constitution and what they did is they actually removed the king from his position and they uh, started to establish a democratic country from 2006 even though they had a constitution they are uh, they are actually eliminating it and they have started to write a new constitution so what was the necessity for them to write a new constitution why they could they could have done some amendments amendment means changes in the constitution okay so why they could have they could have changed the constitution as it was earlier uh, written earlier right why they have changed the constitution means because it does not reflect the ideas of the country which they wanted nepal to be and they had fought for it they it actually even uh, even after the 1990 what the constitution said is the final authority was with the king not with the peoples uh, with the king and the council of ministers okay so therefore they didn't like this constitution and second more important it should define the uh, so political system as as uh, as we have our constitution it defines our political system but here but there it was not uh, that easy to define the political system so therefore they had to remove that constitution and they had to uh, rewrite the constitution so even though they had a constitution it uh, they had to rewrite it because it does not reflect the ideas and it does not define the political system and thank you so much students i think you got to know why constitution is very much necessary in my future classes i will let you know how actually a constitution works and what and all the rules and regulations which our uh, dr ambedkar sir had uh, had written it, we have a wrong assumption that only dr ambedkar has written the constitution no almost 13 members were included in adding the con in in writing the constitution so we will learn all about things about these things in our future classes thank you students